Hello, all you hardcores out there. How are you doing? It's Russ here from Porky's Corner, the biggest gob in sport. Will Joshua ever return? I'm not sure, to be honest. I'm not sure. Uh, obviously, he's, he's coming off two losses. Uh, and let's be honest, he, he won't dominant in both them, in both them fights against him. So he really. I don't think he were. I looked through his record and he beat Dylan White, didn't he? Seven years ago. Uh, Dylan White were coming off a, a two-year ban for a, a, a for doping. Joshua beat him. Everybody said he were life and death, but I gave Dylan Wright a share of one round. That was it, but he got gifted a belt against Charlie Martin. Dominic Brazil, 17 and over. He weren't fetched up as a boxer. He's not managed to do anything. While they put him on planet Jupiter. Eric Molina, part-time school teacher. He shouldn't have been nowhere near him. Vladimir was a life and death. He got old in that fight. Vladimir let Joshua off the hook. Fury had already dismantled Vladimir 18 months earlier. You know, he were in his 42nd year, so that's probably his best win. Carlos Tackham, I never rated him. Joseph Parker, he got Fury's belt by default, basically, didn't he, really? He should have been beat against Ruiz in, in New Zealand. Then we've got Povetkin, Pe an old man. Then Andy Ruiz, a fat man, knocked him out. White floor with him. Came in even faster for rematch. And Joshua didn't want to engage. He was still gun shy in the pool left fight after that. He's an old man, pool left. Old as ills. Then we've got Osek, two defeats. And the, the meltdown after the last defeat. So, you know, he's four months out at ring. They haven't got an opponent in sight. Uh, who would want to get behind a Dylan White fight? What if Dylan White beats him? Where would he go then, Joshua? Where would he go? I personally think he's got nowhere to go, only Fury. If they risk him how he is at the moment, he could get beat against Dylan White or Otto Wallin. He might even be in a 50-50 with Sarah for Sarifi. We don't know, do we? But I'm starting to wonder if Anthony Joshua's got the appetite for it now. He's tied down to Eddie Earn. Has he had enough? We don't know, but if you go, up, go and look at the... Uh, the top 10. Boxrec have got him number three in the world. I mean, well, these are the top 10. In fact, we'll go top 15. Otto Wallin at 15. Frank Sanchez, 14. They could beat Joshua. Martin McCauley at 13. Pull up his only beat. Derek Chisora, will he fight again? I'm not sure. He's number 11. Joseph Parker is already beat. Davari, he, he won't fight. Luis Ortez, he didn't want to fight him when Eddie had him. Uh, they put Joshua in with Molina and Dave Allen in with uh, Luis Ortez. Dylan White, it looks like he could be next if he fights at all. Joe Joyce, he didn't even dream about. Wilder, he has nightmares about. Ruiz, it's one and one against Ruiz. Who want to see a trilogy of that? Joshua's ranked number three. Usyk's done him twice. And Big Daddy Fury, the Gypsy King, he's at number one, isn't he? <clears throat> Joshua didn't want that smoke. So if we go outside the top 15 on box, right? Tony Yoke at 16. He won't want to fight him. Ergovic at 17. I don't think he wants that smoke. Arslebeck, Mac Mudoff, 18. He won't want that smoke. Ali Aaron Demi Rezen. I don't know how that will sell that fight. Robert Elenius, number 20. Who would want to get behind that? So there ain't nobody really. Fabio Wardley, 22. He's getting in. He's ranked higher than Zang. So 
Fabio Wardley on. We'll see just about. So there's a good crop coming through, but will Joshua fight again? Probably, but I'm asking you, the fans, what do you think? Do you think he'll fight again? Or do you think he won't? Do you think he's had enough? So he's got a lifetime deal, promotional deal with Eddie Hills, the 5 and 0 Iceman from Billy Ricky. Free by way of, but no footage. Only footage we've got is him knocking the spotted one about. So that's about it, really. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Yeah. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I want to thank them people for sharing it on your WhatsApp amongst all your boxing pals. It means a lot to me. Thank you very much. Big shout out to Spartan Demolition and a massive shout out to Welcome Estates. Don't forget to click the link in the comment section. If you scan it, it'll show you how you can earn you send a few quid. All right, if you listen to your uncle Big P. Okie dokie, peace out.